Hello, this is an S scale model of a gold stamp mill that processes the gold ore when they dig it out of the mines. This is about 1890, 1900, right in there, maybe a little earlier. And it is, it looks uh, like a really large structure in this viewfinder, but and it's and it is it's it's a it's it's a centerpiece. So at any rate, uh, this is a Western scale models uh, model, and all the interior equipment is theirs. Uh, there are some modifications to this. One is uh, the bump out. The second story here is new because I wanted to be able to drive my locomotives and some of my cars through the through the. Uh, through the building to dump the ore into the building because this is kind of a, a bad weather thing so I had to jack this up which meant I needed more of this and then there was this other part but at any rate they had shake shingles and I have put uh, the metal corrugated shingles on and all of it's painted really really nicely uh, when we come down here I also added this extension uh, if I can get my finger in here right, this extension here to add steam power to this because the original model was electrically powered. And then of course you have to have your coal chute which drops down and you can shovel your coal right into the bin there. There's a bin inside. The other uh, thing is, is that roofs are removable and they'll and uh, my daughter was going to help me, so this may and may not work for me as far as some of this stuff. Uh, down inside here is all structurally done. The lights are all inside, they're all strung on on uh, glass beads and the wire. The wire actually carries electricity for that, and we'll show you that in a little bit. A few windows broken out that they haven't replaced yet. Undersides of the roof is all beamed and inside this displays uh, a little crane that's, that, that runs across here and the rest of the machinery when I back up and pull this other roof off. Uh, this was an addition to this little piece here. I thought that was kind of cute. Just needed a little, little room to break up the the monotony of a huge just flat roof. So as far as the tour goes, uh, the boiler is uh, was added and then the coal bin underneath and the lights. Uh, we'll get this thing actually uh, moving here in a little bit. It's animated. The steam engine was added and it powers a generator back there, the blue part, and you can actually see the sparking from the generator. And all the belts and pulleys that are part of this mill, uh, basically the, the railroad cars come in here, dump into a hopper or uh, for all your ore, and it comes down and it's fed mechanically into the stamps and the stamps uh, actually crush the ore and it's mixed with water uh, into a slurry and it comes down these tables and then it's fed by these little these little tubes here if I can get my finger that little tube at the end of my finger down into the Wilfley tables. The Wilfley tables were a mechanical device that would actually just shake much like a gold pan a guy doing gold panning and uh, it separates the ore out and and, uh, and I, ha I when this is running of course in real life then there's actually a rainbow of color that comes off of these things and then they just simply sweep off the gold and put it into bags and then that's loaded into the thing. There's 20 some odd people in this there are like 85 windows and hundreds of lights. Every window in this structure is not only right there on the inside, 
on the outside but there's no uh, celluloid or whatever it is showing on either side uh, various forms of storing parts for the different pieces of mill and back in there which is really hard to see is the changing area back in the olden days the mill people well in, in Cripple Creek County they just they decided that there was probably uh, several million dollars siphoned out of the stamp mills uh, by the workers just because of it gets stuck in their pockets and their pants and stuff so the mill people uh, and owners decided well we're gonna be very kind and we're gonna have a changing area and we're gonna provide them with clothes that uh, they can use while they're working here so they come in with their their clothes on and change out into our clothes and then at the end of the day they change back into their clothes we take then the the clothes that are all full of gold dust and wash them out and actually retrieve that gold that was in there in the pants so uh, not only being kind to them also did a good deal with with saving the mill owners some <laughs> lots of money so anyway down in this area and uh, this mill by the way is mounted on a on a very nice oak display uh, it's about four uh, one by fours underneath and then down here is the are the buttons that you can push to operate the stamp mill you push one button to fire up the boiler and you get everything moving and then then you can run the other button the mechanical parts of it and for a while I worked for the Wilfley Corporation as a mechanical designer on CAD and designed some of their centrifugal punch uh, pumps that would actually pump slurry and what's interesting about Wilfley is these are the Wilfley tables that shook and this was in the 1880s and Wilfley uh, saw a need to mechanize the separation of the, the ores and how to do that and he built all of these tables and then when they got into chemical milling the Wilfley tables went out the door and he decided to go ahead and change with the times throw out his Wilfley tables which he had been so fond of and worked very well for so many years and and turn it into where he could pump slurry back and forth from one tank to another and this company is still in Denver and working very well his family is very wealthy and uh, they pump sludge from one pond to another in South America and all over the planet so anyway that little plaque comes with it okay let's see if this we can get this thing going Okay, let's see. I mean, depending on on the humidity and a couple other things, would depend on on whether or not we can get some of the, uh, the steam engine. Uh, just there we go. It's running. And you can see the flicker on the generator back there as as the wheels turn. And of course the boiler is now uh, red hot and is making steam like crazy. So while we while we have that button pushed, we're going to push the other one and we're going to start up the stamps. Now, not only do the stamps go up and down with the cans, but they also spin on the way down, which is exactly what they did in the olden days. And the Wilfley tables are, are shaking so that you can separate the gold ore. And this is a 20 stamp mill. And there's two sound... So we'll shut the machinery off here and there's two sound cards in here. One is uh, with, with the running of the steam engine 
and one of course to run the stamps, which is authentic sound from a, a, a real stamp mill there in, uh, just by Colorado Springs. So anyway, this is the uh, tour of the mill and it is for sale. Uh, I've decided that uh, it's really a nice model, but I, I hate to keep it closed up in my room when uh, maybe a lot of other people could see it and mess with it. So thank you for watching this and if you have any questions call me Jerry Wilson 720-353-8608 or email me at steamer461 at yahoo.com. Thank you.